If you like collecting Discord badges, this video is for you. At the end of this video, you will have enough knowledge about every single Discord badge that you can get. Without wasting any more time, let's talk about the easiest badge to get in Discord. Hype Squad House badges are really common. At the time of making this video, 60% of Discord users have obtained this badge. If you do not have it, here's how to get it. Open Discord and then open Settings. Scroll down in the sidebar and find Hype Squad tab. Click on Join Hype Squad. And now just go through these questions as you like. At the end of this, you will get a Hype Squad House badge. I got the House of Brilliance, however if you are unsatisfied with the house you got, you can always just take the test again and choose different answers to the questions. There are three different houses and you have a chance to get any each of them. If you do not see the Hype Squad option in the sidebar, close settings and click on someone's profile that has the Hype Squad badge. Click on the badge from there and it will get you to that page. And if that does not work, it means Discord has stopped users from obtaining the badge. That is unlikely, but I can't do anything about Discord's decision. This next badge is also really easy to get. I'm talking about the Quest badge. To obtain this badge, open Discord and click on the Discover button in left corner. Go to Quests tab from sidebar and now you will see a lot of quests. You only have to complete one of them. If you do not see any quests available, there's always gonna be more in the future. Discord will ask you to play some games or stream those games to friends for a certain amount of time, blah blah type of tasks. When you complete the quest, you will receive some reward plus the quest badge. Here you have to stream Genshin Impact to a friend for 15 minutes and then it will give you an in-game bundle as reward and you receive your quest badge. If you do not have a game for a quest, then request a video in my Discord server and I will make a video on how to accomplish that quest. The next Discord badge in the list is the Nitro badge. To acquire this badge you can buy Nitro or you can try getting Nitro as a gift or from events. There's an event where you can get free Nitro from, I have a video about it. Link will be in description. The badge will stay in your profile as long as you have Nitro. That means if you lose Nitro, you lose this badge. You have to get Nitro again if you want the badge to stay in your profile. The next badge is Boost Badge. To acquire this badge, go to any server and click on Server Boost option. If you do not have Nitro, one boost costs almost $5. You only need one boost for the badge. However, if you have Nitro, you get two boosts for free. Boost badge changes the shape each month. You have to continue boosting a server for months. And it's disappointing that if you somehow miss one month, it will reset its shape to the default one. The next badge is Active Developer Badge. You need to own an active Discord bot. A slash command from the bot has to be used every month at least once in a server. After that, you will be eligible to use this badge. If you are confused, I have a video that will help you get the badge. Link will be in description. Legacy username badge is not longer available to new Discord users, but if you sticked around when Discord had number tags and username, you might be able to receive this badge. To check this badge, open Discord and then go to Profile Settings. Scroll down and look for Legacy Username Badge option. If you have it, turn it on. Now the badge will display in your profile. If you work at Discord, you will receive a badge exclusive to Discord staffs. There's no tricks to get it except ween an interview at Discord. These badges are very hard to get. They aren't normally given away nowadays, but they are still technically obtainable. To get the normal Bug Hunter badge, you need to report a lot of bugs to Discord. The instructions for reporting bugs will be given in the description. This is a badge you need to get with a lot of effort and I'm not aware of any shortcuts. The Golden Bug Hunter badge is even harder to get. This is the rarest obtainable badge. Not many people have it and you have to reach the highest level of bug hunting for this. And Discord won't give away these badges to you if you want those badges only for the sake of collecting. 
At the end of the day, every badge has its purpose and the odds of people taking you seriously with or without the badges are equal. All of the badges I discussed today are obtainable. However, there are still badges that are impossible to obtain. They deserve their own video and I might make a video on those. Join my Patreon for early access. You also get a shout out at the end of the videos. Thanks to my Patreon members for making me motivated into making these videos. See you next time. Good night.